Each year, the Air Force conducts more than 300 live fire missile tests. Very nice. Many involve full-scale targets such as the QF-4, which are F-4 aircraft modified to be remotely piloted. Since the inventory of current QF-4 drones will soon be depleted, the Air Force is in the process of converting older F-16s to replace them. The newly designated QF-16 will provide a highly maneuverable, realistic testing environment for fifth generation fighters like the F-35 and F-22. I'm Captain Jonathan Gibson and I'm a master's student in the Advanced Navigation Technology Center at the Air Force Institute of Technology. My research focuses on improving live fire air-to-air -air missile scoring using Kalman smoothers. In order to evaluate a missile's performance, we need to know its flight path in relation to the target. Currently, the Air Force scores live fire missile tests using time, space, and position information recorded by the sensors located on the targeted drone aircraft. The problem is that the overall performance of the current system is fairly poor. My research uses advanced post-processing filters called Kalman smoothers to process data from inexpensive radar sensors located on the QF-16 drone. These sensors, which are spread out across the wings and fuselage, are used to detect and report the range to the inbound missile. While a pilot's analysis may be, whoa, that was awesomely surely a near hit, the Kalman smoother can back out the missile's flight path in relation to the target within a few centimeters. This gives Air Force missile analysts the data they need to decide if a weapon system is performing as it should. In my research, several Kalman smoothers are simulated to find the best combination for the DoD and Air Force standard for the QF-16. It is very rewarding to know that my research may be used to help decide when and if a shot could be taken and to increase pilot confidence in missile performance.